Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homes. Today we're in the kitchen today, and Angela Kay's got an amazing sounding recipe on deck for us. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to hear it, to watch her do it. I'm excited to eat it. So let's get to it, okay? It's blueberry bagel bread pudding. At first, you want to start with your blueberry bagels. Now, I love blueberry bagels, but we can never eat all of them, so this is a good a good thing to do with the leftovers. These are from the bakery. I know you can buy blueberry ba bagels in the free freezer section. I would recommend the bakery ones from your grocery store bakery because they're going to be bigger and oh, more nice. of a chew. Yeah. And that's what, more what you're looking for here. These are, are five of those bagels. And they, they're basically day old because you want to be a little more firm mm. so I just cut them into chunks just good chunks it doesn't matter how big just good chunks you don't want them humongous but you don't want them tiny tiny either you want to have a good chew to it because if you cut cut the crust down too much you will lose the chew of the bagel and then it won't be like bagel bread pudding so in this bowl we have six large eggs, and we're gonna beat those up. I always poke the yolks first, it makes it, beating them up so much easier. You just wanna beat it up really good till all the yolks are completely distributed through it. Now this is a bread pudding that you can eat for breakfast, brunch, or dessert. If you want it for dessert, it'll be lightly sweet. But so you, if you want it for dessert, you can add a little bit more sugar. But we like things lightly sweet around here. So to this, to these six eggs, we are adding a third of a cup of granulated sugar and about a half a teaspoon of salt. And we are also adding half a cup of packed light brown sugar and on top of that is about a half a teaspoon of cardamom if you don't like cardamom you can use cinnamon but cinnamon's going to be a little stronger they're and, two totally different flavors yeah by the way. <laughs> yeah they're two totally different flavors cardamom if you've never had it is a little citrusy and a little earthy it's an indian spice if but some people and some areas of the country have trouble finding it if you have trouble finding it you may be able to find it online or you can just use cinnamon but the flavor will be different now you want to whisk all that together until you see your sugar is dissolved pretty well now we are going to add a cup and a half of whole milk you can use 2% or whatever, but whole milk is going to make for a better bread pudding. Absolutely. Because it's going to be richer. And with bread pudding, the richer the better. Now you want to whisk all that together. And now I'm going to add... Half a gallon of vanilla. <laughs> two teaspoons, <laughs> roughly measured. Because you guys know I never measure vanilla. So two teaspoons, roughly measured. Of vanilla and that whole mixture is smelling so good. It does smell really good with the mix of yeah. smelling the blueberry bagels. So now we are going to throw in our bagel pieces and I was asked to do bread pudding. I figured this would be a good place to start. <laughs> yeah because we are also going to, at the end, do a little cream cheese drizzle because water bagels without cream cheese. So we're gonna do a little sweetened cream cheese drizzle on top. And I think that's just gonna top it off. Now, you wanna start stirring that in, all those bagels in, because you want them to start absorbing that custard. And see, it's gonna look like that's all, not all going to fit. It's going to look like there's not enough custard there. But the more you stir it, and the more you get those bagels in there, the more they're going to absorb, and the more they're going to start mashing down. Because you actually even want to take your stirring implement, mm -hmm. 
and start pushing them to force them to absorb. Because bagels are a little tougher than bread, so you kind of have to coax them to absorb it. And as you can see, it's absorbing it really well and actually leaving a little leftover, which is what you want for bread pudding. Hmm. And it's it's doing really good. Yeah, it is. It's fascinating to watch. Actually. You can you can either take your spoon and push down, or you can even get your hands in, your very clean hands, <laughs> and start squeezing. And then you don't take dirty hands to put in food. No, I've been accused of it. <laughs> I've been accused of it by viewers, but <laughs> oh, that's so funny. because they didn't see me wash my hands. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Because. I don't wash my hands on camera. I was just like, there's a thing called editing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. But as you can see, they're already starting to break down and get soft. And everything's starting to just come together already. Yeah. And you wouldn't, when you first throw them in, you're like, okay, this is, is it going to be enough custard? The bowl isn't going to be big enough. Or your husband's going to say, are you sure it's enough? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> Which is what Jason did. I do that every time. Is your, is, do you think that bowl's big enough? Is it going to be good? Are you all right? I don't know why. I, I just want to make sure she did. Right. Now, everything is kind of mixed together. Now you want to get out your baking dish. Now you can bake this one of two ways. You can bake this in a 13 by 9. It's going to be very thin but it will bake quicker but if you bake it in i have an odd size dish eight and a half by eight and a half it's like it's like a it's like an eight and a half by five something weird like that if you bake it in that it's going to be thicker but it's going to take a little bit longer to bake i'm going to choose to let it be a, take a little bit longer to bake and be a little taller is, is what I'm going to choose. So, I'm going to get out my dish and you want to spray it down really well because bread pudding has a tendency to stick if you do not spray it down good enough. So, I'm going to spray it down really well with coconut oil and then I'll show you what we do next. Now, this pan is actually an 11 by 7 is what they technically call it even though it's more like 10 and a half by 7. Yeah. Now, you want to give your bread pudding mixture one last stir bring up any of that custard from the bottom and as you can see just in the time you were getting the pan yeah everything's breaking down yeah. everything's doing exactly what you want it to do yeah it's doing good bagels are one of the best things to make bread pudding out of. That's fascinating. they really are and because these already have some sweetness that's the reason i went a little light on the sugar because blueberry bagels already have some sweetness now you could probably also do this with cinnamon raisin bagels will be really good as well yeah, yeah, okay. Now, it's going to look like it's not going to fit. But remember, this you want to push that you want to push bread pudding down. You got stuff all the corners too. You it's want to put down. you want to push bread pudding down. Yeah. You want to make sure it's pushed down so that it absorbs. In fact, I am going to use my clean hands mm. and push down better. Well, it's the best way to do it because you need as large a flat surface as you're pushing down with. It makes, and it makes total sense. I am going to take out an insurance policy and put a lined baking sheet under it so that in case it decides it wants to bubble over at first, even though it usually won't. But just in case it does, I don't want to have to clean the oven. Hmm. So, you're better off taking out an insurance policy. Now... This is ready to go into a 350 degree preheated oven until it's nice and set and it's no longer jig jiggly in the middle. I will tell you if your bagels are a little fresher than mine, like if you just got them from the store and decided to make this, you will have one, you will do one of two things. You will either toast them before you cut them, cut them up or lightly toast them toast in chunks. Them. Just lightly toast them so that they will absorb this better or you will let the whole mixture sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so that it absorbs better i'll show you what it looks like when it's done now this beauty is out of the oven and it smells amazing That's awesome as you can see it's rose up 
Yeah. When you push on it, it feels kind of squishy. That's the way you want bread pudding to feel. If it feels hard, you've overbaked it mm -hmm. or didn't have enough custard. Right. <laughs> it's it rose up higher than this, but in the time that it's sat here just for a few minutes, it's kind of settled a little. Yeah. It baked in this pan. It baked for exactly 45 minutes. If you bake it in a 13 by 9, it'll probably take more between 30 and 40 minutes because it will be a much thinner layer. Now we are going to get started on the glaze. In this bowl, we have about four ounces of cream cheese, and you want to soften this really well. So I'm going to put this in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds. If you are the type that is completely opposed to microwaves and they're the devil's box, then you will want to put this on in a pot on the stove and let it basically kind of melt a little bit, mostly just get a little softer. Now, as you can see, it's all a little bit melty now. This is, this is where you want it because this is not going to be like an icing. This is going to be a glaze. So you want it kind of melty. This took about 30 seconds in my microwave. If you have a more powerful one, it'll take less. Now here we have half a cup of powdered sugar. I probably won't use it all because glazes, you just add a little and see where you're at as far as thickness. I probably won't use it all. I'm going to put in about a fourth of a cup to start. Because that, that is a liquid ingredient, right? Yes. Sugar is a liquid ingredient, so it's going to thin it out. And I know somebody somebody will probably ask, how can sh sugar be a liquid ingredient? It's because when it mixes with liquid, it becomes liquid. Yeah, it melts. Sugar melts. And as you can see, it's this is looking really good already. That's awesome. So we're going to add about a teaspoon, roughly measured, of course, of vanilla. This also depends on how sweet you want your glaze. Because remember, your bread pudding isn't going to be really horribly sweet. It depends on how sweet you want your glaze. So now we are going to add, I'll start with about a tablespoon of heavy cream. We'll see where we're at as far as the thickness. And that all depends on how thick you want your glaze. If you want it really thick, more like an icing, don't add a lot of heavy cream. If you want it really thick, that you can drizzle it really well, then add more heavy cream. I'm going to add just a little bit more. You got it already, don't you? About another tablespoon. And then I'll taste it and see if it's sweet enough. Yeah. But I've got that powdered sugar, the rest of that half cup of powdered sugar on standby. Just in case. I feel like it's not sweet enough or just in case it gets a little too thin on me. We're almost there. It's still a little gloppy, but I'm going to taste it. To me, that is perfectly sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm going to add about half a tablespoon more because you want it to not be gloppy. And see, there you go. Now, you have a choice at this point. You can either put it over each serving or you can put it over the whole thing. I'm going to choose to put it, put it over each serving. So, we'll, we'll plate it up and I will show you it once it's drizzled on. Look at that beautiful piece of bread pudding. Mm. Angela K, looks like you've outdone yourself again on this one. That's awesome looking. Beautiful bite. Look at that. Yo. That's awesome. So amazing. Angela K absolutely killed it on this one. So amazing. That's delicious, y'all. I'm, I'm flabbergasted that this could taste like that. It was so good. What an amazing bread pudding. A great idea. I never thought about using bagels from bread pudding. Angela K obviously had. So you, you should try that one out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We did appreciate it. My name is Jason. This is Smartman. Her name is Angela K. It's Art of Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.